at another beer. Raj J here. Going to take a look at one today from Abby DeLeff. It is the Leff Blonde Ale. This is actually a Belgian ale, Abbey Ale. Um, comes in at 6.6% ABV and for their bottles are actually 11.2 ounces. A little bit about the bottle itself. Leffy Blonde. Savor the mystery of the ages. Award-winning Left Blonde is a full body deep golden ale that is surprisingly subtle and delicate. Belgium's classic Abbey Ale is best served in its own chalice shaped glass, accentu accentuating the ale's aroma and creating a perfect head. Looking forward to trying this one, have not had this one before. So let's go ahead and crack it open and get it into a glass. And for this one, I actually do have a left glass so we'll use this chalice and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right it might be leffy or leffy or something but I'm just going with left go ahead and pop the top off there nice little foil nothing special just a regular foil covered uh, cap let's go ahead and check out the appearance hey how you doing so there we have it in the glass. The chalice fills it right to the top. So perfectly sized for their bottles. We do have a white head, very small head, uh, less than a uh, finger. Um, do see a lot of carbonation taking place. If you can see the bubbles right there, which I think you can in the screen. So nice um, action that we have. And then also have a nice golden yellow tint um, very very clear I mean the clarity is just awesome on this one no murkiness no cloudiness can see right through so a very nice uh, golden yellow beer let's go ahead and get an aroma and see what the smell is like and what the hell is that smell <laughs> wow the aroma smells really good we're getting a lot of moderate to heavy malt I mean, it just, the simplest in inhalation brings out a good amount of aroma. Have some of that breadiness there. Got a good uh, sweetness taking place. And with the sweetness, it's almost as if there's um, kind of like a, a honey type uh, sweetness to it. Looking on the ingredients. Don't see anything there mentioned in the ingredients inside of it, but it's a very, very sweet smelling beer. Wow. So let's go ahead and get a taste. And also you can see where the head is now dissipating even more. So it's not going to last too long, but we'll see if it laces the glass. I do want to know what it tastes like. Wow. The taste itself is a great mouthful of flavor. The mouthfeel is pretty awesome. Not getting much bitterness, but I'm getting a moderate sweet flavor to it. I'm getting a good um, dry texture. It's got a nice creaminess to it. It's the carbonation itself is not too lively um, although we can see what's happening in the glass when you take it in you're not getting a lot of that carbonation really coming through it's really smooth drinking and the finish is very crisp um, you get a good average duration wow it's really put together nice on the taste And as far as body, body's a probably uh, say a nice medium body beer. So very smooth. We have some of the glass lacing, as I mentioned, taking place now, so we can see that happening. So really, the taste is pretty phenomenal. It's better than I expected it to be. I kind of thought it would be a good one uh, from what I've heard about this beer, but this flavor is really, really good. So to look at this beer overall, how would I 
uh, rate this one. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. I'd actually consider this one as far as fitting into some of the bells and L's as being one that fits that style obviously perfectly because it's designed to do that. But it's really got that nice aroma you would expect from a Belgian type ale. It also has that um, perfect appearance. I mean, you don't get much clearer than that than the clarity shown on this one. Um, and it's also one that's available in a lot of places, I believe. So pretty good access there. Um, like I said, the only thing maybe lacking is maybe the head, but in a lot of Belgian L's, the head doesn't last around as long from what I've seen. But the flavor is just phenomenal, phenomenal, and the, the crispness of that finish, uh, the mouthfeel that you get, it really makes it a great taste in beer. Um, on this one here, the Left Blonde, I'm actually going to rate this one on a scale of 1 to 5. I'm going to give this one here a 4. Um, I think it holds very well as a Belgian ale out there. I think it's something that anyone that likes Belgian ales would be pleased with. It's one that I would drink again. Um, it was one that we get on tap or at a bar, you know, without any hesitation. I think it's that solid of a beer, uh, considering some of the Belgian ales I've had. And if you've had this one before, let me know. Put some comments in the comments section. But I do think this one is worth checking out. Uh, if you have, just want to hear about it, let me know. And again, that is the left blonde. Well, I appreciate you swinging by for another video. I'm going to sit back and enjoy finish drinking this one. Hope to see you again. Remember, life is too short. Keep drinking good beer. Cheers.